Hey guys, sorry I haven't made a video in a while, I've been pretty busy, but hey, at least the quality and the sound sounds better. So, yeah, let's get on with it. What is up everybody, Ed Taco here, and I'm so distracted by that viewfinder right there, because when I used my GoPro, I didn't have, there's no viewfinder on that thing, so there's nothing to worry about, but now, somebody's texting me during my videos. Let me just silence that. As I was saying, I got a new camera. It's a Canon T5i Rebel, and it has like a viewfinder, like you can see my fingers pointing to it right there. Uh, but uh, I'm supposed to be looking at the lens and not the viewfinder, and there's also a mic up there at the top. So the sound quality is indeed better, and everything is just crisper and nicer than the GoPro. The GoPro I'm still gonna use for vlogs that uh, I am outside with since it takes amazing video outside, but indoors at nighttime, it just no, because you have to put the ISO up, and none of you care. You guys want to know the Vocaloid news. I understand. I haven't made one in a while. I'm pumped up. Let's go. Okay, so the first bit of information, as you already know, because some of you already played it, some of you already have it. I do not have mine at the moment, because mine is in Tokyo, and it's still in Tokyo, even though I ordered it on the 22nd of March, but Project Diva X is now out. It came out March 24th. There's also a demo out. If you guys want to try it out, you might have to make a Japanese PSN account and then go to the Japanese PlayStation Store and download the demo. But in order to do that, you have to do all these annoying steps such as reset your Vita, disconnect your current PSN, switch out the memory card for a different memory card, and then you can make your Japanese PlayStation account. And nobody has time for that. Unless you are not getting the game, then I recommend doing all those annoying steps just to play the demo. I ordered mine 22nd of March, and they shipped it out, I think, four days after the game released on March 28th. And today is March 20... no, March 30th, and it is currently in Tokyo right now. It is indeed March 30th. I had to make sure I wasn't incorrect with that statement. I love the Project Diva games. I play them all the time. I'm getting mine from Japan, but if they localize it, I'm going to buy it again just to show the developers support and that there are indeed American fans who do love Vocaloid and we support them. I ended up buying it. I bought F first and F second twice, the Japanese and the American versions. So that just shows how much of a fan I am and how much I support Sega and their Project Diva. Speaking of Project Diva, the arcade version is actually going to be ported over to PS4 and it's going to be split into two titles. It's going to have one called Future Sound and it's going to have one called Colorful Tone, I think. Let me check. Yes, I was correct. It's going to be Future Sound and Colorful Tone. Future Sound is going to have songs from the Project Diva series and Colorful Sound is going to have songs from the arcade and the Project Mirai series. Now there's no confirmed on what the price is going to be. It's exclusive in Japan at the moment, but like I said, you can have a Japanese PSN and just buy it uh, over here in America. Just make your Japanese PSN, go to the store, buy maybe some yen from uh, PlayAsia.com. That's where I usually get my yen from. And then just buy the game. And no one knows what the price is going to be. Some people are saying 5,000 yen. Some people are saying 3,900 yen. 3,900 yen is probably about $45 or something like that. I'm not too sure. I, d I can't do the maths in my head right now. I just wanted to know if any of you guys are going to decide to pick this game up for the PS4. I know I definitely am. I need to save up some money because, you know, <laughs> yeah, I don't have any. And some news from a while ago. Miku Expo added two more locations. I'm sure a lot of you already know this by now. But now they're going to Houston, Texas and Monterey, Mexico. So if you guys haven't gotten your tickets yet, what are you waiting for? Get them right now. I'm sure they're going to get sold out pretty quickly. So I recommend hopping on that. Sadly, I won't be attending any of the Miku Expos since where I live. Migu just decides to hate it and it's like, nope, I'm not going down to Florida because, I don't know, because she doesn't want to. But who knows, maybe it'll be the final 11th location, the secret final finale, grand finale. Just you wait, Florida people. She's coming. I guarantee it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this bit of news that uh, I can talk to you guys about. I know it's older news, but I was waiting for this camera, and once I got this camera, I knew I was going to make a video just cramming all these new stories together just to get it out to you guys. Some of you may know, some of you may not know, so I figured I'd make the video anyway. Uh, I love making these videos, and I love how you guys support me for this. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the new quality of this camera. I hope you enjoy the new quality of the mic and the sound in this video. 
and uh, I will be making more soon. So this is Ed Taku, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh, look at that focus, though. <laughs>